hello guys wow it feels like it's been so long since i've done a vlog like a little car chats so i figured that we could do that today i am <coughs> running a couple of errands but i want to bring you guys along to sephora because it's been a long time since i've been to sephora and i wanted to see if they have anything new in store check it out and plus i just need to get out of the house for a little while i haven't told you guys this but because of the panini and everything that's going on right now you know there for a while i was doing every other week um we were allowed to come into the office they have gotten rid of that i have been at home for a very long time now Last time I went to the office was the week of, I know December 15th was in there. So whatever that week was, was the last time that I've been in the office. So it's been a while and I love working at home. I'm, you know, I can be productive and all the good things, but I also get very kind of stir crazy especially if I'm home alone. Um, my boyfriend was home for a few days. Um, but once I'm home alone, I get a little bored. So I figured let's get out of the house for a little while, run a couple of errands and talk to you guys. So, uh, there's a few things I want to talk about today. First thing I want to talk about is the idea of, um, egos and YouTube. This is something that's super interesting to me because for the longest time, I would look at things happening on YouTube only as a subscriber because, you know, I think that we all start out watching YouTube and then eventually some of us um, make our own channels or, you know, upload to our YouTube account. Some of us just stay subscribers, either or is all good, um, but I'm obviously one of the ones that decided to start making content of my own, and there for a while, I used to think to myself, is everybody on YouTube a little bit of, like, do we all have a little bit of an ego that is fed when we get attention and subscribers and likes and views? You know, in all fairness, I have enough, um, you know, I'm not a super prideful person. I have pride in, um, you know, the stuff that I put out and the things that I say. I typically, most of the time, I say what I mean and, and I mean what I say and I will make corrections if I need to, uh, you know, based on updated info or updated um, opinions. But I also have enough wherewithal to recognize that until you <clears throat> make content of your own, it is very easy to say, oh, well, I wouldn't care if I get subscribers. I wouldn't care if I get views or attention. Um, but it is somewhat rewarding. And I'm not saying that it's something that is for me. It's not something that I chase or something that I'm after, but it does feel good to have people that care about what it is that your opinion is. They'll bring you a topic and say, what do you think about this? Or what do you think about that? Would you be willing to share your opinions on this? And part of that does feel really good but I see this, I see this shift in some people and for some people it comes really early in their YouTube career. Um, you know, not that it's necessarily a career, but journey, I guess I should say. Sometimes it happens really early on and sometimes it doesn't happen until they hit a milestone, like a hundred thousand subscribers or more where with some people the ego comes out and I find that to be 
such an interesting thing to kind of witness. I don't like, in my personal life, I don't like people that are egomaniacs. I don't think a lot of us enjoy that. Um, because I just don't appreciate someone's ego getting in the way of them being able to be a logical person. And I think so often when you do have an ego that's out of control, it can equate to not being able to look at things from a, you know, kind of neutral stance because your ego just starts like your ego and pride starts to take over every aspect of your thinking, the way that you digest information, the way that you deliver information, that ego will, um, you know, kind of end up popping out and just kind of taking over. But when it comes to egos in YouTube, I think that there's something very powerful in being able to grow and grow your channel and grow your online presence if you have enough self-control to leave ego and pride at the door subscribers will really see that just like they'll see the complete opposite of that some people take subscribers as fools and that's something else i wanted to mention is can we stop treating subscribers like they are stupid? Because so many times I will have subscribers catch on to something before I have even noticed it. Whether that's something that might be upcoming, not saying that, that you know they're fortune tellers or anything, but subscribers are just like the rest of us. It just so happens that a lot of subscribers don't upload content. But at a certain point in time, a YouTuber was a subscriber, so I don't understand where anyone gets off treating a subscriber like they're naive or dumb or can't see through bullshit. Subscribers are very uh, intellectual and they can see things from a mile away. A lot of them are uh, able to spend a lot of time on numerous channels to figure out kind of what's going on. Like subscribers know the deal, dude. There's something that subscribers can do that a lot of YouTubers can't because of the amount of time that they spend on other channels where they kind of have their finger on the pulse of YouTube because they're seeing all the comments they're seeing what this creator said even if it was kind of indirect they'll see what they were talking about and they'll know who they were talking about for anyone to discount the intelligence of subscribers just really kind of grinds my gears because like i said i think that if you know if anything i'm going to listen to what a group of YouTube viewers has to say about a situation before I will listen to only one person's opinion just because they just so happen to have a YouTube channel that they're uploading to because subscribers are very well versed in what they see going on on this platform which I find very interesting and when I think of a group of, of subscribers or viewers having the same stance on a certain topic. The reason that I really started thinking about this was because of all the comments that I got on my DCP video where so many subscribers were saying, yeah, like we, you know, I saw him getting, um, I saw him getting worse months ago like I saw this coming um, I understand what you're talking about and it's not even about like agreeing with me but it's just about <clears throat> a group of people having the same viewpoint of a certain subject I do think it's kind of comical when someone wants to say oh well you 
he he's been this way like I'll get like one-off comments like oh he's been this way and you don't need to share your opinion about it well first of all I'm allowed to share my opinion no matter what that's what all of us do I always think it's funny when someone says why are you talking about this you shouldn't be sharing your opinion about this do you say that to the youtuber that you're defending really I would like to know because I'll see that sometimes with Katie Joy I will see it sometimes with family vloggers here and there I got a couple of one-offs with DCP do you go over to their channels and say nobody asked for your opinion on the Duggars nobody asked for your opinion on Brianna K it is what it is when it comes to YouTube so as far as saying that someone shouldn't be sharing their opinion I really do my best to look at comments and actually um, kind of digest them if I need to but sometimes they're just like so meaningless to me that I have to just keep it moving you know what I mean all right so we are here I'm gonna go in Sephora and we'll see what's new I don't know if I'm gonna stop anywhere else <clears throat> or if I'm just gonna keep it at Sephora but we will see so I'll see you guys in two seconds All right, guys, I'm back. I only bought one thing at Sephora. I threw in a little clip of their like, what's new? So that you guys can see, but I ended up picking up the Makeup by Mario new lip plumping serum in the shade Apricot Glow. So I love the packaging on this. It's so just, not busy or anything like that like this and this is just you know apricot glow so I was gonna get two but I want to see how this one is first before I just get a second color but I figured that was a good color for uh, spring. You know, cute little wash of color vibe. And I'm actually gonna go to another Sephora because this one did not have what I was looking for. And I could just order it online, but I'm in one of those moods today where I just want to get what I want and not wait for it to come and I realize that that is not something that I should really be complaining about but it's also been a long time since I've been kind of out of the house and this is a really good way for me to kill a little bit of time and vlog for you guys um what was i talking about we were talking about egos and stuff so when it comes to kind of these egomaniac youtubers it is just one of these things that i find very interesting i think when you when you start paying attention to people on YouTube, it can definitely open up your eyes to how different people handle situ certain situations, how people handle attention, how people handle um, admiration. I just find it all very intriguing. And listen, I'm not here, like I'm not saying that, um, being proud is a bad thing because everyone should be proud. If they're building a platform, um, 
that is something to be proud of, point blank period. Um, you know, you put in hard work on making content and, um, you know, as long as you're not exploiting anything, I think that we can all agree that um, you should be proud. You should be proud of growing and um, achieving certain goals that you might have for yourself. I think that that's amazing. Um, but there's also a massive difference between being proud and just being a jerk, changing how you speak to people, changing how you act, changing how you um, receive feedback. I've seen it all. And I also want people to understand that I don't bring this stuff to you guys to say, this is wrong and I'm doing it right. I know all the answers because that's not it at all. I just find these things very interesting. And based on what I've heard from a lot of you all, um, a lot of times I'm saying what you guys are thinking. It also creates a very interesting conversation that can be had. It's such a gloomy day. We're supposed to be getting a very decent amount of snow on Sunday. It's actually like Sunday night into Monday. Um, Monday I'm off work anyway for the um, holiday so that's really good but even if I was working because we're not going in and I'm really happy too because my boyfriend is off on Monday um, which will be really nice to not have to worry about him driving I don't mind a little bit of snow but when it comes to anything above like three to four inches, that's kind of where people start to forget how to drive. And that's, that's the point when I like to keep my ass at home. They are doing so much construction over here. I feel like there's just constant construction. And that's the problem with construction, is that construction creates traffic. The other day we got some snow too, and it was so nice for Axel. Um, he loves snow so much. I think most dogs like snow. Is that something, like, am I right about my assumption? I know that for little dogs it can be a little bit challenging because... You see the little dogs trying to make it around in like five inches of snow and their little legs can only take them so far. Um, so then you have to like dig a path and all of that kind of stuff. But most dogs like snow. I feel like most dogs would rather be in cold weather than be in hot, humid, stuffy weather. I ended up finally trying that Youth to the People Kale Superfood Cleanser, and I really like it. I'm still trying it. I did have a blemish over here, and I'm hoping that it's not from that. I really hope it's not from that, because I really like the cleanser, <laughs> but we'll see. I think the best new skincare find that I have found in the last six months has been the Althropa Photo. It's the Dr. Dennis Gross Overnight Peel. It's not the Alpha Beta ones that have been around for ages. It's the other one. I'll throw a photo so you guys know what I'm talking about. But if you suffer with uneven skin tone, melasma, uh, post-acne hyperpigmentation, current breakouts, fine lines, any of these issues that, you know, it's skin. So hello, skin is not perfect. Um, but if you suffer with any of those, or if you just want to kind of achieve an overall glow, that peel is amazing. It is quite pricey. That's the first thing that I will recognize. 
if that's kind of the only thing that you buy that is higher end, you can pair it with drugstore, like a drugstore cleanser and moisturizer and just splurge on that peel. I think that it's absolutely worth it, 110%. I love it. And anytime I use it, especially if I use it a couple nights, um, like if I use it two nights back to back, my skin will just have this amazing glow to it. And um, so yeah, despite the price, that's the only downfall, but I definitely think that it's worth it. So anyway, I'm going to continue making my way to Sephora and I will check in with you guys as soon as I'm done. So I'll see you in two seconds. All right, guys, I am back and I'm ready to go home. I ended up stopping at, I ended up stopping at Bath and Body Works too. And I grabbed a couple of room sprays because they're always on sale, like year, year round, I guess. Like, so I ended up getting three room sprays. They just released the Palo Santo in a room spray and it smells so good. It's very, it's very much like man, manly and um, like masculine, but it smells really, really good. And if you like that kind of musky, it's still very clean, but it is quite, um, it's not floral, it's not sweet, but I think it smells really, really good. So I did grab those and now I'm ready to get home and see my little puppy. I did end up getting what I needed at this Sephora. They had what I wanted. It was the Bite Beauty new lip balm. They actually only had one, so I felt like I was lucky to find it. So the lip balm is right here. It's the Agave Lip Butter Balm enriched with mango seed butter. Packaging is so pretty. Comes in this rose gold. super cute so I will update you guys on that I can appreciate a I can appreciate good packaging but it's not a must-have for me I don't mind having something in ugly cheap packaging if the product is good anyway so I really hope that you guys um, you know, please chime in with what I was saying uh, earlier because I am very curious about do you like have you guys seen what I'm talking about when it comes to ego? Um, what do you think as far as the difference between being proud of your content and just soaking up attention? Like, I think that those are obviously very different too. So I'm going to be really interested to see what you guys have to say about this. Yeah, with the whole ego thing, you guys know these things are really interesting to me. And I think because I have interest in how other people respond and how other people react and how people in general uh, respond to situations that are, you know, delivered to them or they get themselves into sometimes it's just overall interesting to me and I think because of my interest in it it has also helped me in a big way during my own time not only on YouTube but in life in general because I try to remember you know, nobody wants to be a hypocrite. I know some people have called me a hypocrite in the past. Um, you know, have I been perfect all the time? Absolutely not. But I do try to keep that in the back of my mind to say, how am I acting? How am I going to respond to making a mistake? Or how am I going to respond to growing my channel? 
um, or even outside, how am I going to respond to this situation that might come into my life? And I try to apply certain aspects to make it a point that I'm not being um, a jerk or an egomaniac or um, making myself a victim when it comes to, you know, certain things. Um, so all we can do is our best, you know what I mean? But anyway, you guys, I hope that this vlog was entertaining or something for some of you. I feel like it's just been forever since I've done one of these videos and I figured today was the perfect day to do so. So either way, I'm going to finish this up and make my way back home, see my little puppy, and have a good afternoon. So either way, for now, if you like the video, leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.